welcome back to ios cooking so today we are making plow uh something similar to one pot meal just that it's an indian version of that yeah so i had already started to put my spices here which is green cardamom black cardamom one uh, cinnamon sticks uh two bay leaves and a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds then you braise it lightly up until your cumin seeds it's a bit slightly golden yeah and then that was my whole red chili yeah then here i came with my onions this was two small onions so if you've got the big one you can use one big one that will be okay so we must fry our onions up until they are golden then i came here with garlic uh, this was five cloves of garlic Then this is our mutton meat. Okay, my special ingredient uh, when I'm making plow, uh, it's a must that I must put uh, chili flakes and chicken stock, but I'll be putting chicken stock at the end you will see later on but um, chili flakes it just uh, brings the different taste to the rice it just takes it to another level so this is a must you must put it um, for three cups of rice you can put maybe four teaspoon of chili flakes uh, so here I came with my normal spices that I usually use which is red chili turmeric garam masala i do put two times actually the cumin i put the cumin seeds and i like to put the cumin powder also yeah and coriander powder and black pepper and salt two teaspoon of each uh here as you see i'm putting only one teaspoon it's because i put the other teaspoons um off camera yeah so by mistake uh, i was not recording yeah so yeah so but two put two teaspoon of each for three cups of rice so the more cups of rice you are cooking the more spices you need to put so you carry on frying your meat fry it nicely cook it cook it because uh, this part must be tasty once your salon which is your curry if it's done nicely and it's tasty definitely your rice will be tasty also so you fry nicely your meat up until maybe it's about 80 percent done so here again i forgot to record this part i put potatoes here and i put a bit of water so that my potatoes can fastly cook my meat was fried finished nicely at this point yeah so my potatoes was also half done so i came here with three cups of rice three cups of washed basmati rice that i came with here you can use any uh, rice of your choice it doesn't matter So for three cups of rice, you must put five cups of water, boiled water. Yeah, you must remember if you were washing your rice in a bowl, 
uh, it, the whoopee letter water that will be left so that's not a problem you can put your rice as it is uh, but make sure that you put one cup less of water when you're putting it because we don't want our rice must be overdone here i came with one tablespoon of chicken stock yeah as i said earlier on that uh, two ingredients that i do not miss when i'm making plow it's uh, chicken stock and chili flakes yeah so please do not skip those two spices yes now i'm just closing my pot so that the water can go down and after some time here as i'm checking here this is the best time for you to check the salt if the salt is less here, you can now add more salt. Okay, you must keep on opening your pot to check uh, the water because we, we don't want our rice must get burnt once uh, the water has gone down. Like as in, if you see right now this rice, actually the water is finished. It's just some kind of like sauce that is left now. But we need now to steam our rice so that all the sauce we see here it will disappear i don't know if i'm even saying it right that is a sauce but yeah yeah so that it will disappear i am going to use foil if you do not have foil you can also use a wet cloth just close your pot with that wet cloth and put the lid on top and put it on low heat uh, steam it for 20 minutes to 30 minutes yes our rice was done here simple delicious guys if you want to try it please give it a try and let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye